What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Grand Junction, Colorado. So do you want to know what Christie's favorite sound is? Yep, that's right. It's the sound of suitcase wheels rolling along. Yep, we're heading to Vegas, baby. Vegas! We're going to take you along with us, which is important if you're moving here to Grand Junction, so we can show you how close you are to the airport, what the parking situation's like, the nothing burger security line, what plane, the whole deal. We're going to do it right after this, so stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? I'm Robert Hayes. And I'm Christy Hayes. And we are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if you're brand spanking new to this channel and you just want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, play, eat, sleep, and how long it takes to get to the airport and all that goes into that, make sure you hit subscribe, tap the bell so you're notified every single time we post new video. We are literally getting calls every day from folks looking to move out this way, and we absolutely love it. So if that's you and you're thinking about moving out here, make sure that you're reading out any way that you know how that information popping up below give us a phone call shoot us a text send us an email even send that, that carrier, carrier pigeon, pigeon. <laughs> we've got your back days nights weekends when moving here to grand junction So we left the house at I think 7.06 Five. or something, 7.05. Yeah. We got it. He got here to the airport at 7.19. So that's, that's how long it takes to get to the airport. We live actually in the kind of the southern part of town there, uh, close to the monument. And the airport is right here off Horizon Drive in the north part of town. But again, it just didn't take long at all. So as far as the flight, it's an Allegiant flight. And no, it's not in a little Cessna plane, six seater. It's an Airbus, big plane. So the Vic Vegas flight from Grand Junction usually takes place. Uh, there's two routes. It's either a Thursday to Sunday or uh, what is it? Friday, Friday to Monday, Monday, right? Or yeah. Friday to Monday. That's the one we're taking today. What does change often with that Allegiant flight is when you depart. We've left at 11 o'clock at night and they've got a bar inside and that's kind of like a nightclub atmosphere when it's 11 o'clock at night. This one happens to be at uh, about 9.15 in the morning. We were super early, but we're doing the video so we didn't want to, you know, kind of stretch it uh, too thin. So that's the flight. Now, round trip ticket was about 300 bucks. That's just the ticket. Now, once you add on, yes, I do want to sit inside the plane, not on the wing. I want to bring more than my wallet, all that stuff. It's a little bit more than that, but you can definitely get a pretty good deal as far as the flight's concerned. Parking lot, I mean, you can see it's pretty mellow. Um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, it's not too big. We usually try to go in either D or C, because that's Christy's nickname, Christy D. So we always try to find a, a spot in the C lot or the D lot. Uh, but again, guys, it just takes nothing to get here to the airport. So we'll go inside, show you how ridiculously insane that the security line is meaning a, in a good way uh, there's like nobody there uh, so let's go inside show you the terminal uh, all that fun stuff we'll do it right now hey ladies if you like if you're like me and you like to shop i put everything in my little carry-on bag that i need and then guess what i bring a big one that's empty so I can go shopping and it'll come home nice and full. So as far as parking goes, I forgot to tell you about that. 
yeah, we're gonna be gone from Friday to Monday. And I think by the time we're done, it's gonna be maybe $30 for all three nights. That's it for parking. So here we are inside the terminal area. Put my glasses on my hat. This is it, there's your terminal. So our Allegiant flight's gonna be right over there. There's the Allegiant line. We've also got United. We got American Airlines over here. So this is the uh, terminal area, really not that big, but uh, serves its purpose. All right, all checked in, pretty painless. Up the escalator into the uh, TSA line. Now, I'm just guessing that the TSA security line that you're used to is more than 20 people. All right, made it past security. So as soon as you walk in, you've got two gates on the lower level. So you've got gate one over there. you got gate two over here. Got a little uh, food and beverage, you know, get your books and newspaper, little shop. Yeah, here downstairs. They do have a turbo grill coming. This used to be a little sandwich place right here but I'm not sure what they're doing with it right now. It looks looks like a turbo grill. Then you go up to the uh, other area here on the top, you got gate three, four, five, and six. That's it, that's the whole airport. So our favorite part of coming up here with the Elysian flight, it's usually up here on the second level. Got the full bar right there. I'm sure there's some mimosas and some Bloody Marys going down right now. Just these gorgeous views of the book clips here in the background. Plane should be here. We should be boarding oh, about 40 minutes or so. So uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Right, that's it so we made it easy peasy one hour flight from grand junction to las vegas so again if you're looking to move out here to grand junction and you need to know everything about what it's like to work live play and airports and how easy it is to fly at a grand junction to anywhere here in the country make sure you reach out and give us a phone call shoot us a text send us an email even send that carrier pigeon whatever you need to do we've got your back days nights weekends we're moving out to grand junction until the next video we'll catch you later